Residents who live close to Redstone Arsenal can be a bit annoyed or even alarmed by the noise that comes from the installation. If you're new to the area, you might wonder what exactly you're hearing. Our Ken McCoy stopped by the Arsenal today to get some answers and has the story. If you hear this, this, or this, there's no need to worry. So Redstone Arsenal does a lot of research development testing uh, here on the Arsenal. Obviously, that's, that's what uh, the Arsenal exists to do on multiple fronts for multiple agencies, from the FBI, the ATF, to NASA and different agencies. So a lot of that involves uh, conducting operations that make a lot of noise in the local region. Redstone Arsenal is getting the word out on how to complain or inquire about the noise heard on the Arsenal. So there's a lot going on at the Arsenal. It's uh, just to be expected. I know it's disturbing, but it's actually good for the economy. It uh, shows the growth of the arsenal and growth of the region. But before we show you how to complain, let's understand what we are hearing. They'll hear explosions uh, that where we're doing uh, testing of demolitions and different types of uh, missiles and things that the arsenal has been known historically for doing for the last 70 years. Uh, and then there's also the uh, test fire engines of Blue Origin rocket engines and things that are going on here right now that uh, NASA is doing in, in support of going back to the moon. So when are these tests usually done? They're typically going to hear them between Mondays and Fridays. Uh, they increase throughout the day. Most likely it's going to be in towards the evening hours. If you're hearing something around dinner time, typically it's going to be a test engine result or a test of some type, some type like that uh, with NASA. Uh, the explosions occur typically during the day, and typically there's a series of them. Uncommon. It's like a train. As pe you, people get used to the trains going by and they get used to the demo noises, so it's something out of the ordinary that typically gets reported. And to file a complaint. So they can contact our public affairs office uh, for any information about the noise. The public affairs office typically will put out on our Facebook and through social media what the planned uh, noise times are going to be when we're going to have planned experiments and different things going on. And then if there's any damage by any chance, then they would report to the legal office, installation legal office, and, and file their complaints that way. For Fox 54 News, I'm Kim McCoy.